Hi, I'm Dhruv, I'm a product manager at Typeface, and today I'm excited to share with you how Typeface is making it even easier for you to engage your customers with personalized content at scale. Let's start with a phrase you've probably heard a lot. I bet every time it comes up in the discussion, it seems very insightful, but then the discussion quickly transitions to the who and the how, because that's where current tools and automation help. Over the last decade, we've all seen how data systems have gone through a transformation, where you can now very easily get to highly specific audiences. Customer journey tools help with planning, execution, and delivery, and CDPs and social media companies help take care of targeting and ranking. Up until now, automatically iterating on messaging has been the hard part. The speed at which you can iterate on content limits how much you can personalize content to each recipient. For example, testing different variations of messages is limited by the speed at which you can generate content. That's why you see A-B testing that's mainly at the subject line level. So today, let's talk more about generating content at scale. Taking a step back, Abhay, who is our CEO, was the Chief Product Officer and Chief Technology Officer of Adobe, and this gave him a unique vantage point. And then through hundreds of conversations with CMOs, we synthesize it down to two types of content generation loops. One that's focused on high quality on brand content and one that's focused on velocity. The brand loop is the one with professional production in tools like Figma, Adobe, and often distributed through first party channels. This shows your brand in the best possible light, but is resource intensive in terms of time, people, and money. On the other hand, the one focused on velocity is about getting content out quickly at high frequency. You see people authoring this content using stock photography and tools like Canva and distributing these on social media. This doesn't necessarily reflect your products and brands in the best light. We believe generative AI is the breakthrough moment that allows you to bring these two loops together to create content that's in your brand voice at high velocity. Now, the promise and speed of Gen AI is exciting and when we speak with different organizations, whether startups or large Fortune 500 companies, we hear this excitement. We also hear four main concerns holding them back from taking advantage of this breakthrough. First, they want to make sure they're using the best performing models. The pace of innovation here is incredibly rapid and there's a new model coming out almost every week. How do enterprises stay on top of this innovation in AI for all the types of content they need? Second, generic AI won't cut it. The outcome organizations are looking for is content that reflects their brands and products. Today, generic AI does not understand brands and their unique voice. Third, integrations. AI cannot sit on an island. It needs to integrate with existing systems like CDPs, CMSs, and productivity tools. Fourth, IP ownership. This one's non-negotiable. If they use their own assets, they want to make sure there's no leakage to train the foundational model so that others like their competitors could benefit. That's where typeface comes in. Typeface combines the best in class across all foundational models so you can use the best for all content types. Second, Typeface provides personalized dedicated models for each customer. This means that we learn about your voice, brand, and products and train a model that's personalized for your needs. Third, on integrated workflows, we have an SDK that makes it easy to embed Typeface within other tools. Earlier this month, we launched our integrations with Google Workspaces and Microsoft Office. Today, we're announcing our integration with Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We're going to continue to build on these. Fourth, IP ownership. We understand this. Typeface is an enterprise-grade solution architected in a way that protects your data and your unique assets so that they're not leaked back to public models. So what can you do with Typeface? Use the tools you love to rapidly create 10x the amount of brand personalized content create high-end product shots, and then use them in campaigns across all channels. Now, let's talk about how Salesforce and Typeface come together. What we're announcing today with Salesforce lets you quickly generate multiple content variations for all your audience segments, and then combine that with Salesforce's dynamic content capabilities to deliver the right variation to the right people. Let's take a look at what V1 looks like. I'm going to show you a demo of how you can use Typeface to create on-brand content, then generate content in flow within Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and then use dynamic blocks to define rules to send this content. Let's go over to typeface.ai. I'd said generative AI models out there can create images, but they do not understand brands. Let me show you what that means. For example, let's try Coke can on a rock. Now, while that's generating, I want to call out one thing. 
Here, typeface is just passing the prompt off to foundational models. We're not doing anything special. These models are trained on general content on the web. So while you can do neat things, you can't really personalize it. Here are a few examples of images you would get from off the shelf models. You can see that important parts of the brand, like the logo, are not preserved. Marketers can't use this. Now let's say you're a marketer at a juice company called Sicily. Sicily is a much smaller brand than Coke, but you can teach typeface about the brand and the specific product. You go to assets and upload images to show us your product. I've already uploaded a few images and taught typeface about the flavors Sicily offers. After you teach typeface about your product, you can use it in the prompt. So let's go back to the prompt and make one change. Select the asset that you uploaded and click generate. What's happening behind the scenes is that after you uploaded the image, Typeface learns about the product and trains a model that's specific for you. You can then use that AI model to generate product images quickly. Here I'm showing an image, but you can also teach Typeface about things like your brand kit. For example, if you use warm tones or blue colors or a set of rules around lighting, we can learn that style and generate content that's personalized to your brand. One more thing here, we have a tool called Image Studio that makes it even easier to get product shots that mimic professional photo shoots. To use this, you click Image Studio, select the product you want to use, position it the way you want it. You can also choose from a library of decorations and then describe the scene that you want. Image Studio generates professional looking images in a fraction of the time and cost. Let's talk about a scenario where you have a piece of content that's performing really well and you want to scale it out. You can use a feature called Text Blend to generate content using existing content. For example, here I have a video of when typeface came out of stealth mode. I can say rewrite this as a blog post. Then you paste in the URL. Here you can specify a voice. You can use someone famous like Shakespeare or Steve Jobs or give us an example of your company's content. For example, sample content from an executive speech. You can also describe the audience you're creating content for. We can connect with CDPs and data platforms like BigQuery. Specify the tone and language that you want to generate content in. Typeface uses the existing content you provide to generate new content it learns your tone and voice and then applies it to the content. And if you don't like something that you see, you can modify just that section. Now let's hop over to Content Builder within Marketing Cloud, where you can now create assets for campaigns in the flow of your work. This is an email I've started drafting up to describe a new sale on fruit juice. I start by dragging the typeface content block onto the email. This loads up typeface within Content Builder. I can now use the same assets, the same prompt, and generate content from right within Content Builder. While that's loading, let me quickly show you Typeface's prompt assistance. This lets me pick resolutions that will work better in the context of my email. So I can specify a landscape, select a resolution, pick the product I want to showcase, and then specify a prompt. I can also select different camera angles if I like. This set of features makes it easy to showcase a product in the best light through high resolution images and intelligent placement and lighting. Now, if I see an image I like, I can easily add it to my email. Finally, I want to show you how Typeface and Salesforce together can help you rapidly personalize content at scale. Salesforce deeply understands audiences and segments and supports many different ways to personalize email content for them including dynamic content blocks, which let you send different groups of subscribers, different content based on a set of rules. So in my scenario of a campaign around juice, I may want to personalize the email to people based on the flavors they like most and based on where they live. So I first create a couple of typeface content blocks. Let's create one for apple juice. I create a variant for pear. Let's create a variant for strawberry, a variant for mango with a beach in the background because I've heard mangoes are really popular in Florida. Now I go back to my email and create a dynamic block. Here I combine the assets I just generated using typeface with Salesforce's data-based personalization capabilities. So I can say select apple juice as the default. This is our most popular flavor. Maybe the one with pear in Iowa for the ones who also live in Iowa.
picked the one with mango for Florida for the people who live there. And this is how generating content variants rapidly makes Salesforce's dynamic content capabilities even more powerful. To wrap up, the key point is that the speed at which you can create on-brand content no longer needs to limit how much you can personalize and target emails. This content block is now available in preview. Please reach out if you would like to use it. Thank you.